I am Anil Kumar sharing with you two questions based on group factoring. We have four terms here in each expression and let us see how to factor them. First one is 4ax plus 2by minus 8ay minus bx. The second one is 4a square plus 4ay plus y square minus 1. Now if you analyze them, we could group them into twos, the first one, and then factor. Now, since we have ax, the term minus bx also has an x, so we could actually group 4ax with minus bx. So that will be my first step. We'll have 4ax minus bx, and we are left with 2by minus 8y plus 2by minus 8ay. Now, some of you could have written minus 8ay before 2by, mainly because what we are looking for is a ratio of 4 is to 1. So, it's a good idea to write this term before this, right? But in this particular solution, I'll keep it as such and show you how the two ways of doing can matter. Okay. Now, what is common between the first two terms? Now, we're looking for groups of twos, right? So, we'll factor these two and then those two. So, in the first two terms, x is common. What we get is 4a minus b. And in the next two terms, 2 is common along with y. So, 2y is common. So what we get here is b minus 4a, 4, right. You can see that 4a minus b and b minus 4a. So one is negative of the other. So we need to change this sign. This is a very critical step. So we'll write this as 4a minus b plus becomes minus. We are making it negative purposely. Think as if we are taking this minus out. So it becomes 2y 4a minus b. So what we did here was that we factored out this minus and rearranged. Now since we have these two factors exactly similar, we could easily write 4a minus b as a common factor, getting x and minus 2y as the other factor. Perfect. So that is how you could do it. Now for some of the students who had rearranged, see how the things changed for them and how easy it becomes. So we'll actually go again from here and adopt our method too. So this is our second method. So in this case, what we will do is we'll rearrange at this stage. So we could write that as, let me write as 4ax minus bx. So I'm writing this term first, minus 8ay plus 2by. Perfect. So if I factor x, I get 4a minus b. And here I could factor 2y minus, right? So minus 2y. So here we get 4a minus b. And now I could rewrite this as 4a minus b as a common factor between these two terms left with x minus 2y. So you can note here we kind of uh, simplified our solution. So that's the key. So sometimes rearranging in a proper way helps you to reduce steps as we have done in this particular case. Correct? Now let's get back to the second group factoring. Here again we have three terms. However, we do note that there is a perfect square here. Now if that is the case, it is good idea to group them in a group of 3 and 1. 1 is also a perfect square. So we could write this as, so first three terms could be written as 2a plus y 
whole square and we have minus 1 here right if you expand this you get 4a square plus 4ay that is 2ab and then y square now we have difference of square correct so now we have difference of square so we could do use this a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b so we are going to use this strategy where the first term becomes 2a plus y and the second term is 1 so it could be factored and written as 2a plus y plus 1 times 2a plus y minus 1 so that is the factored form of the given equation so I hope that step is absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you really like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best